I'm Ty Pennington. This week, we're honoring heroes who literally feed thousands of children and their families out of their own kitchen. And their renovation starts right now. Who needs a hot dog? So Polly, Paige, Eduardo, and Rib, we're traveling through El Paso, Texas, on our way to meet the Ruiz family. Jesus and Maria and their two kids, Elizabeth and Jesus Jr. These guys help thousands of people out of their own home, and they need a helping hand. Take a look at this tape and you'll see why we're here. Our next hero brings food and care to desperate children and their families and has vowed not to stop until the question of hunger is resolved permanently. Here is one woman who saw children in need and decided to feed them. One woman working hard to bring hope to this world. It is kind, it is hard work, and it is why Maria Ruiz is a hero. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome CNN hero, Maria Ruiz. Jesus and Maria were teenagers when they met in El Paso. They decided to get married, and it was the beginning of their American dream together. They started building a home themselves, and a couple years into construction, they started a family. The Ruiz family settled in El Paso, but they still had roots right across the border in Juarez, one of the roughest cities in Mexico. El Paso and Juarez are called the Twin Cities. If you're in El Paso and you cross the border, the whole thing changes completely. Some of the roads are not paved. There's areas where there's no electricity, no sewer. It's just a complete different world. It's a third world country that has been forgotten, you can say. In 1996, Maria decided to visit some relatives in Juarez, and the trip permanently changed her life. All around, Maria saw neighborhoods in extreme poverty, crime-ridden streets and starving children, and it was so close to home. Determined to make a difference, Maria and Jesus decided to stop construction on their home. Instead, they focused all their time and energy toward what they felt was a much more important goal, feeding the hungry. When I saw the poverty level that they were living in, I had to do something. Even, you know, just to relieve some of the pain or relieve some of the suffering that was uh, going on. So my family and I started Gym Ministries in 1996. Maria started by cooking, and Jesus became a pastor and gave his paycheck to support their mission. The charity provided daily food, clothing, toys, and support free of charge to low-income families both in El Paso and Juarez. We started feeding uh, 1,200 kids every day out of this kitchen, out of this house. We reach out to people in need of clothes, food, and anything they need. We all have a little part in Gem Ministries. With everybody's help, we get things done. Get the boxes, put the shoes in first. Both Maria and Jesus work multiple jobs to support their charity. And since pretty much all their earnings go to helping others, they can't afford to fix up their own home. Our house is not finished. Therefore, I mean, it's, it's falling apart. The garage is not finished. The kitchen is not finished. And uh, none of the house it has any moldings or any floorboards or baseboards. And uh, there's only one bathroom completely finished. One of the main problems of my room is the heating and cooling. During the summer, it is very hot in my room, and during the winter, it's very cold. And it's because of the windows, they're not sealed right, and dirt comes in during the summer when we have sandstorms. The Ruiz home is falling apart. There's no storage room for the vast amount of donations they receive, so their living room is an overcrowded warehouse. Maria and Jesus now fear that they'll have to shut down their ministry for good because their home is deteriorating and they don't have the space to continue their good work. My name is Alva Wilcox. I am nominating the Ruiz family because I met them about five years ago and these people have just given everything that they have for others. And uh, I found out two years ago that in the winter time, their kids sleep on the floor of their bedroom because it's the only room that's heated in the house. Both of us, we're dreamers. We had a big dream to finish this house. I know it's gonna happen. I know. I'm not complaining, but um, I would love to have my house back. Please, help us. Help us to reach out to others and to 
lend a helping hand to those who, can, who can't help themselves. Wow. It's hard to believe that these guys can continue to do as much as they do considering their own living situation. They need our help, people. Yeah. So what do you say? Can we do this? Yes. Yes. Bring it in here, people. Are you with me? We're with you. Well, then let's do it. Yes. You guys ready? Ready. All right, here we go. Good morning, Ruiz family! Jesus, <laughs> Maria, Elizabeth, and Julia, come on out there! Hi there! Hi! What's Morning! Hi! Hey, brother, how's it going? <laughs> this is awesome! You guys this a little bit of shock? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, wow. It's a great surprise. Yes. Now it's going to give us the opportunity to serve this community of El Paso a lot better and help that community more. you got to pinch me or touch me. Or, you know? <laughs> Trust me, we're really here. <laughs> And here's the cool thing, okay? This week, we're gonna work on getting you guys in a decent house. And the cool thing is, while we're doing it, you're going on vacation to Atlantis in the Bahamas! <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So here's what I'd like to do. Mom, why don't you show me around the house? Guys, why don't you get to know the design team, tell them what you kinda need around here, okay? All right, let's do it. So show me the house, go. Yay! And you're hunting it too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, so, so this is the house, huh? Yeah. Wow. We don't have a warehouse, so this is what we use our, as a warehouse, the living room. And um, so, what all is this stuff? It, it's clothing. There's some toys. You know, books. Some of the uh, local ministries that we have, most of them are churches. There's Gracia Divina Ministries. They'll come and pick up here at the house. Anything that uh, people can use. Let me just ask you, did you ever have furniture in here before? Um, yeah, I did have furniture before. Where did that go? Well, we, we, we gave it to... You gave yeah, it away? Yeah. <laughs> we gave it to some families. Because somebody else needed it. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So your kitchen, instead of just feeding your family, you now feed like... A thousand families. Uh, yeah, it was 1,200 kids. Uh, and you feed all of these people out of your kitchen? Yes. Okay, can you show me your kitchen? Sure. Yeah. This is a kitchen and you this is... You feed all the... You, what? Out really? Of, out of this, yeah, out of this out stove. Out of that one stove? Yes, out of this stove is where we do the cooking. On four burners and an oven? Yes. Wow. <laughs> no yeah. kidding. So what are some of the things that you cook? Like burritos. You burritos? Uh-huh, burritos. So, oh, they like burritos. So let's say you're making a burrito. What do you think about as you're making that one burrito and you, and, you, and you put it on top of the other one? What do you think about? It's one more smile on the kid's face and then one uh, less hungry child. I mean, they're that hungry. Yeah. Yes, they are. They are hungry. Wow. <laughs> After looking around the house, and especially seeing the kitchen, this is what you realize about the house, is that this may have started out to be their dream home, okay, but then their dream changed so that it could help out so many other people. What used to be a living room is a storage facility, and what used to be a kitchen that would feed four is now feeding thousands. Wait, this is your pantry? Yeah. <laughs> You're kidding me. This is it? What's so fantastic is that even though they don't have much of anything themselves, they find a way to make life better for other people. There are people out there that are hungry, and I think sometimes we forget that food is essential. We take it for granted, but there's some people who don't have it. This is my room. This is your room. Well, tell me about your room. I mean, already I see some guitars and things like that, yeah. and you into music? Yeah, I like music a lot. Yeah? What kind of music? Um, like rap and hip hop. Rap and hip hop. Yeah. You got any raps that you can lay down on me right now? All right. Okay, go ahead. That was 
awesome. Yeah. Jesus Jr., or Jr., as he's called. I mean, what an incredible young man. You know, uh, literally for the 12 years he's been alive, his home's basically been unfinished. He loves music, beatboxing, graffiti art. I'm, I want to give him a room where he can enjoy it, he can pursue his passions, and stay warm when it's cold in the wintertime. That's what I'm going to do this week. And then this is my room. Okay. It's just all kind of undone, like around your closet. And is yes. that a bathroom? Yes. The toilet's there, but the shower's not finished. And there's no floor yet. So where do you take a shower? In my brother's bathroom. You do? Yeah. At least I have a bathroom. I mean, I have to be grateful for what I have. Yeah. Well, that's a very good attitude to have. You do a lot for other people. What do you do for yourself? Do you have any hobbies or what are your interests? Well, I like to paint and draw sunsets, um, sceneries. It just fills me with joy, I mean, with peace. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Just like you. You are so beautiful. <laughs> I can't you. believe, you know, a lot of 19-year-old girls would probably be just hanging out with their friends and you have kind of given up all that to help this ministry and your parents and everything and that's pretty special. Thank you. This is the stairs and they're not, they're not finished. You see, like all this, it was all yeah, finished. This rail. It's cracking. Yeah, this is a yes. dangerous. Yes. And so we try to just make the, the, the best out of what, what we got on hand. And um, this is supposed to be the family room, and uh, it's supposed to be uh, all finished, but... Jesus, what's behind this door? Why, why does the water come in through here? Okay, behind this door, we built a porch, but it also got so much deteriorated that uh, I would not advise you to go out, because, I mean... How far can you go? Probably up to the... Uh, right here where I'm standing. Probably I would not advise you to get in the edges, because they're so rotten, and, uh, and I wouldn't like for you guys to get hurt. <laughs> so. Paul, that's, that's Mexico right there. Right there, at the bottom of the mountain. That's the city that gave me birth. And now the city where you're going back to help people. Yes. Well, I think uh, we have some work to do this week, Paulie. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> the Rees family is a family who thinks of others before they think of themselves. Here is a family that 12 years ago took a trip to Juarez right across the border here, and it changed their lives forever. They saw poverty, they saw sickness, they saw children without clothes, and they said, we have to do something to help. What can we do? What's important to this family is their mission, and their mission is to help others and make other people's dreams come true. Our mission this week is to fix this family's home because we know they will do someone else's home long before they do their own. Join the Bahamas! What an awesome family. Amazing. Okay, we got a lot to do, people. Let's, Let's get go. cooking. Come on. Do you know how to use kitchen utensils, Polly? Yes, sir. So that's good to hear. Coming up next. It's the new Sledgenator 3000. <laughs> you can do it! <laughs> food and clothing and toys. You don't need a lot of money to make a difference in this world. You just need to have the heart and you can help so many people. And that's exactly what this family has done. demolition, you see a lot of cheers and hands in the air. This time, when you look at the hands in the air, you look a little closer and realize all of these hands have canned goods. And it just shows you how the city of El Paso is here to help Maria help thousands of people in the future. Well, as you know, man, uh, these guys do an incredible thing for so many people, and it's so cool to see all you guys here. We've got great help with a builder, Randy O'Leary from Desert View Homes. Anything you want to say before we kick this off? Yeah, I would. Yeah, for years, the Ruiz family has changed the lives of literally thousands of people, and they've done this with very little concern for their own well-being. Today, we're able to provide them a little bit of kindness back from us. The building of this home does not just provide hope and dreams for them, but provides hope for the thousands of people that they touch daily. Let's give them a home!
Wow, I hope you're having a fantastic time on vacation. Maria, I just want to say what you do every single day is incredible, man. I know your passion is to feed so many people in your community. Well, this week, your community is here for you. Everybody here brought canned goods. I'm not kidding. Show them your cans, people! <laughs> so for today's demo, we're cooking up a recipe for disaster. And we've got just a thing to take down your old house. So what do you say, people? Are you ready for some demo? So mom loves cooking, right? And I've always loved those infomercials about something in your kitchen that's going to change your life. You know, and I thought, well, look, if we're going to do demo, why not make it an infomercial? Is your sink on the brink? Are you fighting your lighting? Are your railings failing? Well, if we got the tool for you. It's the new Smedgenator 3000. <laughs> Tell us all about it is TV's Tony Little. Tell us about the Sledgenator 3000. The Sledgenator 3000, it has so much force. It smashes, it crashes. No job is too small. Let's say you're in the kitchen, you know what I mean? And you need to, let's just say, crack some nuts. You can do it! The biggest question I have, what about the big jobs? Oh! <laughs> super duper on the pooper! Show them, Polly! Guaranteed for life! En serio, me encanta el Sledgenator 3000. Yo estoy totalmente blown away. <laughs> but wait, there's more. More? If you act right now, you get the stylish goggles, you get the nifty hard hat, and you get three chainsaws. One for every room of your house. Wow. They slice, they dice, and they'll still cut your tomatoes. All that for free? I can't wait until I have my own Sledgenator 3000. You think that's all? Of course not. You know what else I'm throwing in? You're not going to believe this. We're going to give away that excavator! An excavator! Oh, my yeah, gosh! An excavator! You're crazy, Ty! Hit it! commercial was <laughs> it was hilarious what we had built was not meeting our needs and not only was it not finished but there was a lot of things that were already deteriorating when the excavator started tearing down the house we just held each other because we were happy and we will never forget we're gonna go ahead and throw in a broom and a dust pan for the cleanup call right now get a sledgehammer 3000 Operators are standing by right now. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> What you see behind me is an unfinished house, and that's exactly what the family had before, an unfinished house, and they did so much. Imagine how many lives they're going to be able to touch with a finished home. This week I'm working on Junior. Now, Junior, he's really into music. He's into beatboxing, making his own music. Now, when I think of music, I think vinyl. So I took this record, I cut it in half to help me demonstrate what I'm going to do in his room. That's going to be his desk. And another assistant of mine is Mini Junior, not to scale. So Junior will come in his room and be like, oh man, check out my cool desk. And someday, maybe he'll cut his own record. This week for the Ruizes, I'm building a fountain. And what I want this fountain to do is I want it to symbolize what, what this entire family does. Now, this family feeds many other families. So what I'd like to do in this fountain is from one cup or from one bowl, many bowls are filled. So we start with one cup. And so what I would do is hole here, a hole here. All right, guys, I'm going to need your help here. So from one cup, two cups will get filled. Four cups will get filled. Beautiful, beautiful. My cup runneth over. This week I am working on Elizabeth's room and this is an amazing girl who's so talented. She loves to draw and paint and she's so artistic and one of the things that really moves her is a beautiful sunset. So I need to figure out how to bring that into her room.
So this week, it really is uh, about being thankful for what you have. And what's really amazing about Marie and her family is they don't really have much of anything, yet they give all that they have to so many. They feed thousands of kids, man. These letters have come from kids and their families that she helps. And what's amazing about this is it's them giving thanks for her. Now this week, I'm cooking up something special. I can't tell you what that is, but these are gonna be in the mix. Holy, look at all this. Look at this one truck over here. We this got one car over here. Miss Elva, Hi. how are you? So good to see you. What see is you going know. on? Hey, we have been collecting food and clothing and toys. Uh, the outpouring's been great. You guys, this is fantastic. The Reeses fill so many dreams. More importantly, that they filled they fill hungry stomachs. So what we did is while they were on vacation, we continued to gather all of these canned goods. Plus, Southwest itself gave us all these foods. We had an airplane, a 737, full of food. So we've collected all this food. Now, what do we do with it? Well, we go to the same missions that Maria goes to, and one of those missions is Gracia Divina. So Eduardo and I decide to uh, take a little trip over there. Hi. 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 Good so to see glad you. to have you guys here. Welcome. Can we see what goes on inside? Can you show us around a little bit? Absolutely. Come on in. Gracia Divina means divine grace in Spanish. It's like a community organization where families gather together for support. They help people across the border in uh, Juarez. They help people here in the hometown of El Paso. People are actually starving. It's just, it's fulfilling a basic need. I mean, I can't imagine what it would be like to be hungry all the time. We've been seeing on the news everywhere how, how tragic things are right now in Juarez. What do you guys think of how Maria and Jesus has affected your life? Five years ago, he invited me to Juarez, and uh, it was a big blessing to give all this food, all these toys to the needy people. Porque no se detiene. Han venido a hacer una diferencia. Y qué bueno por mujeres y hombres valientes que se atreven a tomar las las armas para seguir adelante. Because of strong, um, proud, and valiant people like the Ruizes, people are able to see Juarez in a different light, and. Um, and able to lift people's spirits at the same time. Gracias. Muchas gracias. He's from Mexico, too. Yeah. For me, this is particularly special because I am Mexican-American. My mom came from a background of poverty and uh, struggled a lot to get to where she is and to get my family where we are. And I've seen that struggle this whole week and was inspiring to understand uh, how important the message and the philosophy that Maria and Jesus are spreading is to this community and how proud I am to be part of it. Hello, Ruiz family. Hola. Hey. Hope you guys are having a great time on vacation. We got a little surprise for you here. A few people, and you know them very well, want to say hello. Say hello, everyone. Eduardo and I come from very big families. We know that big families usually uh, usually need a lot of things. So uh, we have a little surprise for you. I just want you to know that everything in this truck, all of this food was donated by the community for people in need. What do you think of that? The hardest experience is when I have run out of food and there's still more children to be fed. That breaks my heart. When they opened up the door and it was all that food, I said, that's a lot of food. That's, that's going to be a blessing to many, many, many families. And that made me feel really happy because when we all come together as a community and help, you know, the world changes. Have a great time on vacation. Bye. Bye. If you or someone you know is a hero who deserves a home makeover, go to ABC.com to apply to be on the show. I love the fact that this week I get to design a Spanish-style home. Look at how beautiful these tile risers look that we put in overnight. 
Over here through the hallway, we got brickwork going on. Now, if you remember, when we knocked on the family's door, it pretty much was in the same kind of state. This is day five. Look how much progress we got done. Okay, now the fact that Marie and her family can actually feed thousands of people out of their, their kitchen in their home with one stove blows me away. Now, the one thing I know they need is new tools to be able to do more. So I call my friends at Sears, check this out. This is Kenmore Pro Series. That means professional grade. All of these guys are energy star, which means they're energy efficient. It's going to save the family money. But more importantly, it's going to allow them to feed even more people. Now, with these, they really are going to be cooking. All right, let's bring it in, people. Let's bring it in. You all know about the Ruiz family, right? OK, so what we want to do here is we want to take these paints and we want to paint all the things that Miss Maria collects and then gives to other people and helps other people. Maria is so passionate about helping children. I thought it'd be great if I got children together to help paint these, these plates and bowls that uh, we're going to use in this little back courtyard area. All these children, they, they all know Maria. So this is their way of saying, hey, listen, we want to help Mrs. Ruiz. We want to come back and give back, too. What's really special about the Ruiz family? They help other people. They help other people. Do you help the Ruiz family too? And how do you help? The, how do you help? I give you toys. You guys are looking good, looking good. Hey, look what Kelly's got here. That's a watermelon, huh? We have children in Juarez that are going hungry. To ignore that would be shameful. These bowls are going to symbolize exactly what Maria does. So from one bowl, we're going to feed two bowls that are going to feed four bowls, just like Maria does out of her house. One household feeds many, many people. Nice work, everyone! Well, Ty, actually, we just finished. You're kidding me. How'd you build a house this fast? Well, we couldn't have done it without the Sledgenator Junior. And it comes with this nifty yellow ladder. So what else does it come with? Well, Ty comes with these keys. Really? Wow. All right, people, we've got the keys. Let's move into furniture. When we got here, the Ruiz family had very little furniture, but it's not because they didn't have it. It's because they simply gave it away to people who needed it more. This week was so amazing for us because for me, it made me realize that you don't need a lot of people or a lot of money to make a difference in this world. You just need to have the heart and have the dream. You can help so many people, and that's exactly what this family has done. That's it! When I got off the limo, I was like, whoa, everybody in El Paso was there. We were just so grateful that the El Paso community did this, especially with the economy right now. My parents don't consider themselves heroes, but I think they are heroes. They're my heroes. To someone who doesn't really have that much themselves, you give and give and give. <laughs> and like that takes a lot of sacrifice from every one of you guys. And this week, it's been about your community giving back to you. So what do you say? You want to see what's behind this bus? Yeah! Move that bus! Move that bus! Move that bus! And you guys know what to say. Say it with me. Here we go. Bus driver! Move that bus! When the bus moved and I saw our house, 
It was the turning point of the new beginning. My old home was holding me back from doing a lot of things. My husband and I built the home, but our focus changed so we could help the children that were in need, and that's why we stopped with the construction of our home. And now we have a finished home. <laughs> we will be able to help a lot more people. It's a big blessing to us. It's a big blessing to us. <laughs> so if you love this home, please give a big hug to Randy O'Leary and the guys from Desert View Homes. Yes. <laughs> It wasn't you all that were blessed, it was us. <laughs> Thank you. If you look at Jesus and Maria, you see what kind of role models they are. These people are not just taking care of this community, but um, there happens to be a border there, and, and they're not letting that border get in the way of people that really need their help. When you're able to see somebody that is really, really deserving getting something that they should, it's pretty spectacular. To find out what you can do to help families like the Ruiz family, go to abettercommunity.com. So take your family and go check out your brand new house, all right? <laughs> When we opened the door of the house, you know, it was so, so beautiful. I just couldn't believe it. It was just like if I was walking in a dream. In the old house, we didn't have sofas, no place to sit in the living room. It became a warehouse there. Having the space in the living room now is so beautiful because that's what I always wanted to provide to my family. I was not able to because we had to put it on hold. And now, our dream, my family's dream came true. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Wow, Mina! <laughs> this is beautiful. It's beautiful, the water fountain. I love the plants. This, we can sit down and relax. This is really pretty. When I walked out into the courtyard, I saw these beautiful bowls hand-painted by some of the children, and they had their names on it. Seeing those bowls, it made me feel blessed because, you know, when you give out a little bit of what you have, it multiplies. When you feed a child, you know, that child blesses somebody else. It's awesome because you can see how they have used what you've taught them. That's an awesome feeling. That's, you know, it's like a reward. <laughs> it's like a reward. So guys, what do you think of your new house? Oh, wonderful. It's wonderful. Thank Everything you. is finished. Yeah, exactly. Everything is finished. <laughs> now this so is a kitchen cool. for your family. This is a place where you guys can actually spend time together. Yes. Yep. So you see the new hardwood you. floors? <laughs> yeah. First time you guys have had hardwood floors, everything else was plywood. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys seen the living room? Yeah. Right. Beautiful. Now before your living room was like a gigantic like storage area. Oh yeah. Don't you love the photos? Yes, this is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'll tell you what, there's actually a lot more house to see. You want to see some more house? Yeah! yeah. The Ruiz family, go check out the rest of your house! Go, go, go! Come on, come on, guys. Okay. Whoa! Wow, this is really cool. Wow! This is so awesome. Wow, Junior's record sweet. When I saw my room, I was like, wow, now I have a place to record my music, to beatbox, just go on the DJ, mix it up, and do some remixes on it. I'm going to be like... It's going to be cool. <gasps> wow, this is amazing. I can't believe it. This is beautiful. 
My room is beautiful. Every morning I can wake up to the sunset, to the sunrise, to the ocean, to the beautiful colors painted on my wall. And having a bathroom right next to me is just amazing. A finished bathroom. It is just beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Look at everything. I love the colors, the lighting. <laughs> Look at the pictures of the kids. It's beautiful. I love it. I can just take off my shoes. Let me take off my shoes. I feel this. When I walked into my master bedroom, I couldn't believe it. I took off my shoes because in our old house, we couldn't take off our shoes. The floors weren't finished, and if we took off our shoes, we would have slivers. But in our new house, we're able to just walk freely. It's like, you know, you've been set free from all these obstacles that were there. We can just go in and lay down and relax for a couple of hours so that we can continue doing what we're doing in a greater way. <laughs> so guys, what do you think of the bedroom? It's beautiful. It's awesome, right? Yes, it's beautiful. It's just perfect. Now, Maria, I want to show you something special, okay? Okay. So I want you to come with me for a minute. Okay. All right? The thing to really understand about Maria is she's the kind of person who is going to continue to keep working as hard as possible because she knows there are people that need her. So for me, it was about designing something that's going to make her life easier. This week, I made a special project, something that I think you need to continue to do the amazing work that you do. So do me a favor, walk through that door and go check out what's inside there. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Oh. This is so amazing. I can't believe this. This is a special room. Oh, mira! <laughs> This is so beautiful. <laughs> As I walked into the second kitchen and I saw all these cabinets and all these faces and letters, it just really, really, really touched my heart. Every time I go into that kitchen, I will be reminded of how many kids are gonna be fed through that kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> When I walked into the storage area, it meant a lot to me because now I have a special place where I can store the items where I need to store them and not having to use my living room for that. Now I have a separate storage area. Now I have a separate kitchen that will <laughs> enable me to continue uh, helping thousands of kids. What do you think of the new kitchen? <laughs> oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Thank you. You like? Oh, yes. It's Beautiful. I will enjoy it for the rest of my life. So what you see here, these are professional grade, okay? That's Kenmore Pro Series. Our partners at Sears, they wanted to make sure that you had the right tools to be able to continue doing the work that you do. Thank you, Sears. Thank you for everything. You know, this is beautiful and it's awesome. So here's what I want you to know. This week, we wanted to kind of continue your work. And so we've collected clothes, we've collected games, toys. But I think the most amazing thing is we've collected 75,000 cans of food this week. Whoa! 75,000? Yeah. Oh, that was going to be really, really, really awesome. It was amazing being able to receive that gift because it's not just for us. That gift that we received, we're going to be able to bless others and help them. So you guys are the mediators between the community and us. You guys are amazing. Well, you know, it's been a um, pretty awesome week for us and finding out how many people you really do kind of change the lives of blows your way. I mean, you guys are just one family and you've been able to help literally thousands of families. And now that I have the proper tools and everything that I need, it's gonna make it a lot easier. You all made it possible and <laughs> There's just not, not enough words to say thank you for everything that you have done. It's, it's awesome. With this new house, the future has a lot in store for us. And every time I go in, I will remember this day for the rest of my life. Uh, that it's a new beginning, not only for our lives, but for the lives of many. We will be able to provide children with more food, with more clothing, with more, you know, of everything. and. To 
just a new beginning. And uh, I think everybody deserves a new beginning. <laughs> I think everybody does. Well, I guess there's just one thing left to say. Welcome home, Ruiz family. Welcome home. <laughs> To find out more about the products used on tonight's show, go to ABC.com, keyword home makeover. I want to say thank you for all this amazing stuff. Marion Manor supports Mrs. Reese. Is that you guys? Let's hear it.